everybody happy resurrection in the name of our lord jesus christ this is a sunday that we enjoy along with my brother evangelist carlos from connecticut and god actually given us an opportunity so we can get together and share and celebrate his resurrection our jesus tomb is empty he is risen today and we glorify we honor him we worship him for he is our God, he is our savior, healer, defender, protector. My brother Carlos, I welcome you in Albany. It is our honor uh, to have you brother over and uh, I am so excited what God actually going to do in future through our ministries, amen? Amen, amen, the honor is for me. I'm, I'm happy that I'm in Albany, New York with you, a man of God, and I'm happy that not only mm -hmm. I get to enjoy having a, a a brother in christ like you but also your wife your kids and yeah it's a blessing for me Amen. and my wife and my kids being here in albany uh, new york is is a blessing especially the day that we're celebrating the 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 not only the crucifixion of christ but also him you know uh getting back from the from the dead Amen. And, I mean, wow it's powerful today's a it's a wonderful day powerful day and and god i know he's he's not only talking to other people, also to the, to the people in the world. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because um, no matter what your background, no matter what your religion, no matter what uh, kind of sin that you committed in your life, uh, Him going on the cross means that no matter what you've done, no sin can hold you back from your yeah. salvation. Because God actually Himself had a strategy in the beginning because the world became sin. And he had a strategy to send his son, only begotten son, for your and my sin. He nailed it on the cross. Yes. And there is nothing can hold you back from our God. Because he died on the cross for your sin. He died on the cross for my sin. He took all your pain, rejection and on the cross. And he became the sin for you and me. So Amen. what kind of sin do you think that can stop God from from uh from helping them spiritually from mm. uh bringing them from from the world to god no sin that exists in the world because the bible even declared that he took all your sin he did not say it in particular in specific bible says all your sin he nailed it on the all cross he had beaten for your sin he took all of it you know um even though um no matter what a worst thing happened to you in your life it was a purpose of God to you discover him as your Savior amen you could mention any sin fornication adultery you have done probably witchcraft before you have lied you have steal you have killed you have done anything in yes. the past all those sins God took them in the cross of the Calvary so all those sins was already nailed in the cross so you are free if only yes. you accept God as your Lord and Savior. Amen. He will wash you with the blood that yes. He shed in the cross of the Calvary. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Praise so, the Lord. And that is the only Shaka blood. Da, da, it's, like, it's like other people, they, they, they go to places so mm -hmm. they can be washed with, yeah. with blood of chicken or, 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 or any kind of animal. But that's not going to deliver you yeah. from nothing. That's going to chain you down. Yeah. But the only blood that that was shed in the cross of the Calvary it was Jesus blood that is the only blood wow. that can cleanse you clean wow, you wow, wow. Can, re, uh, uh, can put Come on, you in the Messiah oh my god Jesus Hallelujah. in the beginning Bible talk about blood blood actually have mentioned a various time in Bible because blood is something very significant from the beginning you know from the beginning that blood has an uh, intensity of uh, you know spreading because you know my children uh, carry my blood my everything you know what i'm saying so uh, blood had a very significant even the moses in the time of that when uh, uh, god struck uh, egypt and he had to uh, you know god told him that wherever i will sleep, see the blood the angel of death will pass away you, you know what i'm saying so um, moses had to put the uh, you know uh, blood on the four posts of the you know the door of each house so same way today yes. that god uses the same strategy if you have a blood of jesus on you that death of angel will pass and it means that your sin is forgiven god is ignoring god is actually letting it go but he wants Ooh, you to come back whole new creation even that in the book of Corinthians oh, yes. that say whoever received Jesus
Jesus as their personal Savior and whoever confessed with their mouth that Jesus is the Lord and he died on the cross for my sin. You are a new creation. New Come on. Creation new us. creation yes. in Lord of yes. Jesus Christ. Amen. If, if, if you're washed with the blood of the Savior. Uh -huh. That means you're part of my family. You're part of yes. his family. Because in, in Puerto Ricans, they always say that in Spanish. Blood, blood is thicker than water. La sangre uh -huh. pesa más que el agua. But I'm going to tell you one thing. I can have one of my, my blood brothers or my blood sisters uh -huh. right now next to me. Yes. But I can have Adnan right now next to me. If them right now, they, they don't serve God. Oh. Or they haven't been washed with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Who's, who's the blood and who is the water? Yes. He is the blood right now. Because oh, he's been washed with the same blood that I have been oh, washed. Come on, that means he's Preach part it. of my family. Preach the it. blood that runs through his veins yes. is the same blood that's running through my veins. Amen. Amen. Jesus. It's powerful, powerful, yes. brother. You know, even um, um, I have seen a very powerful, you know, speaker in, in Puerto Rico. And uh, tell me about the Spanish world. Uh, you know how how they perceive and what's their perception and how because every each and individual uh, culture is different. Like I'm from Pakistan and culture definitely same. How is in uh, you know um, Puerto Rico and how did you minister? How did oh, you come man. to know Jesus Christ? In, 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 what was I, a new experience? Man, I was I, actually I, I met God right here in the uh, United States. Okay. I, was, I was born in and I was raised. I was born in, in St. Croix, Virgin Island. Uh huh. And then uh, in a big family, it's okay. uh, uh, five boys and three sisters. Uh -huh. My father, he, he was an evangelist. Mm -hmm. And also, he used to work in a radio station okay. preaching the gospel of God. Yes. And my father used to travel to Puerto Rico, to Vegas, and even to the United States. He came and preached the gospel of God. Mm -hmm. But what happened was that... Um, in 1984, I was born in 1979, but okay. in 1984, they decided to come to the United States. That's when um, we started living in this project named Father Panic Village. Uh -huh. And in Father Panic Village, it was, it was crazy. That is the sixth uh, biggest project of the United States. Uh -huh. But it was the craziest project where yes. you could have lived. I mean, one thing that I always tell the people is that in that project, yeah. the devil used to live, and only God used to go and visit. And sometimes. you're talking about Bridgeport, Connecticut. Bridgeport, right? Connecticut, in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Like you received Jesus Christ as your personal savior while you were in Bridgeport, Connecticut. While I was in Bridgeport, Connecticut. And was that a Hispanic church or? Was it was it? a Hispanic church. Whoa! I remember one. I, was, I went in there. I was dressed up all black. Uh -huh. I had my hat to the back, <laughs> and I remember that wow, I, I was on, all somebody. chained up spiritually. I was, I yes. was chained up, and I remember that as soon as I started walking. In church, uh -huh. I sat down with my hat back, you know, looking like a little gangster. You probably, <laughs> some of you probably watching, had the same kind of experience, you know, uh, that before coming to know Jesus Christ, you guys were totally different. Yes, totally well, different brother. the way dressing, the way I used to speak, everything. Yeah. And I remember that. One of the ushers, they came to me and say, hey, um, you got to take your hat off. And I say, I'm not taking my hat off. I say, I'm leaving. I'd rather leave. And you know Whoa. what? But then the Spirit of God poked me in my heart and said, Whoa. you're not leaving. Today, I'm going to change your life. Today, I'm going to renew you. Today, I'm going to heal you because I was sick for like 10 years. Wow. I was sick of my life. And then... As soon as I was going to step a foot outside, the Spirit of God spoke to me. And right there, the pastor came running. Uh -huh. And when the pastor came running, he said, hey, you know what? I don't want you to leave safe. Oh, and yes. I said, you know what? I'm going to stay because I know this is the devil's work that he wants me to leave. Wow. I went back. And then when the preacher finished preaching, that's when I said, I'm going to pass to, to the altar. Uh -huh. And I'm going to give my life to God. Wow. My wife was right there. But by that time, I wasn't even married with my wife. My matrimony was what? destroyed. Wow, but, but she was saved? She wasn't even saved either. Oh. And I invited her to go to church. She couldn't believe that I was going to go to church because sometimes I used to just walk to church and I used to try to open, you know, the door from church. And right there, the demonic spirits that were in me, uh -huh. they did not let me go oh. inside the church. So sometimes I would have sat down for like five, ten minutes and I was like, oh no, I got to leave. I got to leave. And I would have left church and I couldn't even sit down to hear God's word but wow. that night the one night that I wow. thought that God wasn't gonna change my Amen. life God changed God my life God. and look at how powerful oh, it was Jesus. that he changed my life in October 22nd 
2004, the same day of my birthday, God gave me that gift. He gave me the healing, and wow. He also washed me with the blood that He shed on the cross of the Calvary. Wow, that's powerful, powerful, brother. How was your experience? That oh, how did you feel after receiving? Oh. How did you feel? Uh, can oh, you distinguish your life before? You my know? God, my life before it was crazy. I wanted to commit suicide. I remember uh -huh. that I used to listen to to some. Uh, worry yeah. music from this guy named uh, El Mexicano. He, he yeah. used to sing uh, uh, some some crazy music uh, mixed with witchcraft and uh -huh. stuff like that. And I remember uh, a couple of nights before I gave my life to God, God said, hey, the guy that you've been listening to this uh -huh. music, I'm going to put you in front of him and you're going to preach to him and you're going to help him spiritually. You're going to receive more calls yeah. from him wow. than from you. That's a great to testimony. Him. And great you know time. what? When I gave my life to God that, Everything started changing. I remember that night when I left the church. Uh -huh. I told my wife, I feel good. I feel like if I'm brand new. Wow. And, I, and I remember that. I told my wife, I'm going to just run around the block. Because uh -huh. I couldn't even run probably like 30, 40 feet that I couldn't even breathe. I would have felt uh -huh. sick and stuff like that. I ran around the block and I said, I feel brand new. Wow. I told my wife, Praise the Lord. I said, if I feel like what? that again, it was three days revival. Uh -huh. I said, and it was on a Friday. I said, if I, will feel, if I feel like that again tomorrow, Saturday, I'm going to go back to church. The next day I woke up brand new. Wow. I went to wow. church. I thank Praise God. Lord. And then on Saturday came nighttime. And I uh -huh. said, if I feel... Go tomorrow again. I'm gonna go back to church on Sunday, the last day of the revival. Uh -huh. I went to church, I felt it brand new. At oh, night time on Sunday, I told God, If I feel like this from now on, uh -huh. it's because I know that you changed my life. Oh, wow. I'm gonna serve you for the rest of my life, wow. and I'm gonna preach the gospel wherever you send me. And guess what? I've been preaching the gospel since two, uh, 2007. I got saved in 2004. Wow. And look at look at me right now. Amen. I'm serving God. So please tell me, um, you know, from your experience that you face, uh, you know, um, with God, and you you had a tremendous experience, tremendous uh, encounter with God. Your life completely changed, and you felt brand new but tell me what you have advice for the people who watching the young people that who actually out there in the world and they have no purpose they they actually uh have no uh you know desire to serve god and they they just want to be you know want to be cool want to puffed up you know like what you have you know advice Man, for them i'll tell, tell you one thing little I, tip what for you? 10 years i tried everything uh -huh. from the world I tried different women's, I tried different clubs, I tried cigarettes, beer, I tried everything what you can uh -huh. mention out there. And guess what? Nothing. I, I was I was never satisfied with nothing. Nothing. Oh, but when I tried Jesus, oh, oh my God! I, man, I, he filled I me up anointing. Come with on. his anointing, with his power. He filled me up with everything. Wow. And right now I tell you one thing. I would never go back to the world wow. again. And I tell you one thing right now. If you right now, you're hunger in, in, in serving Jesus. If you right now going through depression, sickness. If you're going right now through a divorce. Yeah. I don't care what you're going through right now. And if you haven't even tried Jesus. This is the day. This is the time wow. for you to say, Lord, here I am. The same God that brother Adnan Abakanda Abashaya yeah, served. God, it's God. the same God that Carter yeah, served. Yeah. And I want to serve that God too. And you will see the great things that God is going to do in your wow. life. All the things that the devil has put in your hand, you know what? Give it back to him. Mm. And take Come what on, God somebody. wants to give you. Come on, somebody. Oh my God. Give a big hand to Jesus. You know, even my life, um, you know, I was, um, I was completely, you know, it was messed. But when I came to know Jesus Christ, it was totally yeah. different. How was your life before Jesus? Uh, before Jesus, my life was, you know, messed up, brother. Like, uh, I, I born and raised in a Christian family in Pakistan. But I didn't know about Jesus Christ. But the night, you know, I encountered Jesus Christ in my room, you know, I saw the angel of God, you know, in the room and with the spread, wings spread around me and I got scared, brother. Wow. And that night I got, gave my life to Jesus, you know, I, I was completely changed because I have never encountered this kind of situation in my entire life. And you know what? I tried to run away from God's presence many times. 
And I, the many times I tried to run away, I felt like God actually brought me, you know, yeah. back. God had His hand, Glory you know. God, I, I sure. learned in every sure. single step, in every single situation, when wow. I try to neglect God, when I reject it, and when I, you know, try to escape from His presence, He had my back. He wow. just got me wrong because I felt like no matter what direction I go, I end up finding myself in the presence of God. Wow. Whoa! You know, and, uh, so, and Jonah tried to run away from God's presence and he had something, uh, you know, uh, different in his mind, but he ended up in a shark, uh, you know, in, in the belly of the fish. That's the same thing happened no matter where in the world that I wanted to go, no matter what path I chose to be on, but God is end up on the same destination and that destination was the cross of Jesus Christ. I cannot tell you in a simple word, I will, if I begin to write my story, I will run out of paper, you know, but the presence, but the taste of God, I cannot lay in a simple word. I will invite you to join, receive Jesus Christ as your personal savior and you will able to tell the same story, what story I have, that you have no word for, to describe his presence. Amen. The storm that you're going through right now in the <coughs> battle me. is going to be a testimony in the future. Amen. For those that are going through the same thing that you're going through right now. Wow. And you're going to see the glory of God moving yes. in your life. And through your testimony, yeah. a lot of people, they're going to get saved. Amen. I believe it, brother, because God Amen. has a purpose for each and individual. No matter where you belong to, no matter what you've done in your life, but as long as you come to know Jesus Christ, yes. your whole sin will be washed as a courtesy that God actually provides you and you will be feel brand new. My brother Carlos had a great experience Amen. in the presence of God. Yes. And if he can do it, you can do it. If God can come to him, if God can change his entire life, no matter yes. what he done, what he has had in his mind about but God changed his mind because God is a game changer God my God is a life changer God my God is a situation changer God my God is a chain breaker come on oh, try him he will break your chain he will break heck he will break the curse yes. of your life and he will bring you to the path that you've been praying for amen any change any chain that is chaining your body right now uh -huh. spiritually God will break those chains. Amen. I, I, I was listening to this testimony uh -huh. from one of my uh, pastor's uh, uh, friends. Uh -huh. um, and he was saying, he was saying, my, uh, my, my friend was telling me that his mom, it was, it was, uh, she, she wasn't serving God like she was supposed to. Okay. And, and she kept on serving God the way that she felt like. She never stepped a foot in a church. Okay. And her mind started going crazy. She uh -huh. would lose her mind for days or maybe for oh weeks. My God. Or maybe even Where for was that in that in, in Puerto Rico. Okay. And he said and he said that his father uh, started serving God when um, his mom was turning kind of crazy. Uh -huh. So it was a time that his mom wow. got her mentality back and then her mind back. And then he said, you know what? I'm going to tell her now mm -hmm. that she understand everything that I'm telling her yeah. that she needs to go to the church that I'm that I'm going because the God that I'm wow. serving could put her a new mind. And she said that as soon as she stepped a foot in the church, mm -hmm. she felt a deliverance. Oh, she felt like God. a change in her. In some of the words, man, God deliver her wow. from that demonic uh, spirit that it was changing her mind. Wow. Anything that is changing, you down right now, God is going to deliver wow. you. God is going to deliver you because my God is a God yes. of deliverance. That if he can bring Israel out of Egypt, if he can deliver them from the land of slavery, if God can deliver, you know, uh, Isaac and Abraham, God can deliver because he's a God of deliverance. If he can deliver them from a temptation, from a conspiracy of enemy, he can deliver you. He can deliver your family. He can deliver your finance. He can deliver no matter what happened in your life. If you need a, a it's healing in your body, he can deliver you from that sickness. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And if you think that you, you, you're in a storm right now uh -huh. and that God is not going to talk to you, in the storm. Yeah. Or maybe you think you you feel like if you're in the 
desert. I'm yeah. gonna tell you right one thing. Even Moses got he saw he saw the glory of God in the desert. Uh -huh. Even right now wow. you can see the glory of God even wow. in the midst of your problems, your oh, tribulations. Shut the fuck I don't up. care what you're having right now, yeah. but I know that my God can change everything. Amen. Around. And this is a very special day, brother. Oh yeah. The day of resurrection over Jesus tomb is empty. And I'm so much excited about this day. I'm so much excited what God oh, is wow. doing around the world. I'm so much excited that one life that was he given on the cross and million of lives have been impacted through the blood of Jesus, through the cross of Jesus. And if you don't have a cross in your home, in your life, in your, in, in your business, bro, listen, yes. you're going to get broke. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get broke. And because when you receive Jesus, his cross in your life, every single boundage will begin to break in your life. Amen. Every single chain will begin Amen. to break in your life. Every single demonic forces will uh, start and begin to run away. Because God will give you a new perceptions to get your life together like never before. Amen. And if you think that the Bible is lying about Jesus uh -huh. resurrecting from the dead after the third day, Take a trip to Jerusalem. Oh, come oh on. Oh, my God. Next and month. And you're going to see an empty tomb. Baba Kandara Vashaya. Hey, you can even take the trip with Brother Atman. He's going <laughs> next month next to month. Jerusalem. And I'm telling you, you're going to see an empty tomb because Amen. he resurrected from Amen. the dead. Amen. <laughs> wow, that's a good perception, brother. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a good thank you, brother. Where you brought it and where you, you, know, <laughs> where you started and where we, you know, yeah. end up. Because that's all God's glory. That's Amen. God's glory. You know, my brother will be departing today back to Connecticut. I want you to guys pray for him. Uh, pray for his family. Pray for his ministry. Pray for his purpose. Pray for his vision. Pray that. Pray for his plans and ideas that God actually given him to reach out in the world with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I believe that my brother will be a great, bring a great result back home by traveling to Puerto Rico from other nations. Because my brother have this year, he has a great plan. He has a great eternity, uh, you know, travel information. So I believe in that God will bless him and God will provide finance for him. Pray for his finance. Pray for his uh, breakthrough in his life. Pray for that God provide for him so he can travel. Amen. Amen. Let's brother prayer, um, you know, for the people um, who are watching right now on this uh, resurrection day. And I believe that God will actually bless them and God will, uh, you know, expose himself to him so they can be blessed. Amen. Amen. Let's brother prayer. Amen. God, I, I bless every person that is listening right yes, now. Yes, Lord. Shaka I bless Father. them in the name of Jesus and I declare if they need healing in their body. Yes. I don't care what sickness they got in their body. I know that in the cross of the Calvary, you took all the sickness right Shaka there that I come that I was shy, and it was crucified right there, Lord God. I ask you to heal them right now, Lord God, so that that could be a testimony for your glory, Lord yes, God. Lord. And if somebody Shaka needs a deliverance Shaka right now, some chains to be broken right now, I declare they be broken right now. I declare that all yokes of come that I are broken in Jesus' name. And I declare that them right now that they need Jesus, they can give their life to you and they can recognize that you are the Son of God. Yes. Hallelujah. You are the Son Glory of God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And I bless Brother yes. Adnan. I bless his ministry, Lord God. Take yes. him to different nations to yes. preach your gospel and let people hear the power and the anointing through him, Lord God, and people to get saved. Hallelujah. Yes, I declare his victory, hallelujah, to come yes, in any moment, see. Lord God. Any problem that goes against him, I bind it right now. Any sickness that try to go against him and his family, yes. I bind it right now. Yes, I, bakandara, bashaya, I prophesy to his ministry that God is going to do great things yes. in his life, that they're going to hear his voice, his messages. All over the world, in the God of Akanda, of Ashanda, of Abraham, will be with him uh, day and night. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity. 
We thank you for Brother Carlos and for his family traveling over here. Lord, we thank you and we had a wonderful time. Lord, we thank you for wonderful blessing that you bless us over the weekend. Lord, thank you for great experiencing that you having us to experience over the weekends. Lord, I thank you. I glorify you. I honor you. I worship you with all my heart, with all my soul. There is none like you. You are the only God that risen from the tomb and your tomb is empty and there is no uh, the, 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 the sign of that yes. you, you 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 risen Lord and the way that you risen every uh, every other uh, sin that has been washed and the purpose of God came to fulfillment Lord we honor you we glorify you we elevate you we worship you and the people who are watching right now in the name of Jesus I ask you to encounter them Lord I ask you to in the name of Jesus speak to them Holy Spirit speak to them Having a, having, a, uh, having a word with them. Lord, give them a word of wisdom. In the name of Jesus, chains begin to break right now. In the name of Jesus. And every single hatch begin to break right now. Every single spell out of their life in Jesus' name to be broken. Every single curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask healing deliverance in the name of Jesus. I ask, Lord, a power in their life. The power of his Holy Spirit to magnify and break every single chain. Chain of finance in the name of Jesus. Open the windows of heaven and pour out of your blessings over their houses, over their businesses. In the name of Jesus, may the name of Jesus be flourished on this land. May many testimony comes out and praise the name of Jesus, Lord. It's all about you, Jesus. We are nothing. Let us be decreased and you increase in our life and you be magnified and your names to be glorified in the name of Jesus. I ask the name of Jesus over every single life that is away from you. In the name of Jesus, give us an opportunity, me and Brother Carlos, to travel the world and preach the name of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever I ask, receive by faith in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen, brother. Wow. I'm so much I blessed. Feel the of God. Wow, I feel anointing of God here, the presence of God here. My God, that's amazing, brother. Thank you so much for coming, I brother. Really thank you. For thank it. you so much for coming and on. You know, people are blessed. I'm sure, and I'm Amen. sure they will be sharing their testimony, brother. Yeah. And I believe that many deliverance and healing already took place in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive by faith. Amen. I really, uh, thank, thank you for inviting me to your home. Yes. And to your ministry, I'm really happy that I'm here. Amen. Thank you, thank Praise you. the Lord. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you know, uh, pray for uh, Brother Carlos, Evangelist Carlos, as he's going to his home. So thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. Have a very blessed